Hello, I'm Jennifer Witt, Director of ProjectManager.com. Well, welcome to our whiteboard session today on three tips to set priorities. When we talk with project managers, one of the biggest things that get in the way of managing time effectively and getting work done is setting priorities. Not only just for the project, but for them personally. So I want to share with you some things and ideas and ultimately some tips on setting priorities so you can get your work done. Number one, the question is what? What are some of the biggest problems that project managers face in setting priorities? Number one, it's over committing. So if you find yourself saying phrases like, yes, I can do that, sure, no problem, then you're probably over committing to work that probably you don't have time for. The other issue is everything is a priority. So if, if everything is a priority, then nothing is really a priority. So if you've seen things like this on your list where you have different items and you have a priority, prioritizing things from low, medium, high priority, and if you look and everything is high priority, again, then everything now is a priority and nothing is truly a priority. So it, um, that's one of the big issues in not truly uh, setting the priorities correctly. So why does this happen? What are some of the reasons why uh, people have issues in setting priorities? Number one is we don't place ourselves as a priority. So we have to set our own selves as priority in order to prioritize our work and not let others overrule or overcommit us on things that need to be done. Number two, we let guilt rule. Um, we're afraid to turn work down or we're afraid to say no in fear that someone may not be happy, won't make them upset, or work won't get done. The other is we don't have an organizational framework to really move effectively and efficiently in setting the prioritize in setting the priorities and managing effectively. So what are the, some, some of the solutions we can do, can do? Number one is organize yourself. One of the key things is having an organizational framework. Have your own process. What are the methods that you use to set your work and get things done? And how do you communicate that to others? Number one is to prioritize the work, truly prioritize the work, going through the steps. A lot of times as project managers, the main work we're doing are on projects and we most of the time manage multiple projects. So we have to balance those things in order to balance our own schedule. So it's having a process to prioritize the work and sticking to that. And then training others. It's important for us to be able to say no or direct them as maybe team mem either team members, stakeholders, or clients to use the change control uh, process. So if people are giving you additional work for your projects, we need to train people on how that's done. So they don't just drop the hot potato on your desk or send you that email or leave something on your plate. Let them know that there is a, a documented uh, schedule for bringing new work either into the project or in your process. So those are some of the key things and the key tips we wanted to share to maybe help you in setting your priorities. If you need a tool to help you set up your organizational framework for not only setting your own priorities, but your project priorities, then sign up for our software at projectmanager.com.